Hi, today's video is going to be very interesting. This video about uh, population genetics and how balances between sexes uh, affect uh, effective population uh, size. And here is a problem. In a fish uh, hatchery, all uh, eggs, an indefinitely large number, are fertilized by the sperm of the single male in each generation. Calculate rate of inbreeding. And uh, we uh, can solve this problem using a special formula where uh, W E stands for the uh, effective uh, uh, number of uh, population. And what does it mean? Uh, this means uh, how many um, breeding uh, members we have in population. And uh, sometimes when we have a skewed number of males and females, this number can be different from the uh, number uh, census. So total number of uh, animals, for example, or fish. So let's uh, see what we can get here. And our problem doesn't have uh, any numbers, but still we can solve this problem. Uh, and you would see that uh, any numbers that we are going to use almost wouldn't affect our calculations and this is what uh, is interesting about this problem so for example effect effective population size in our example uh, imagine that we took sperm from one male and we use for example uh, 10,000 females in order to um, uh, produce eggs and we use sperm of one um, male in order to fertilize those uh, fish eggs. So uh, let me first uh, give you formula. Here is a formula uh, where we have to multiply 4 by number of males multiplied by uh, number of females. So F here stands for the females and M stands for the males and N stands for the number. And we have to divide this by uh, number of males plus number of females. And as I said, uh, let's use the numbers here. So if we have uh, uh, only one male, so we have to multiply 4 by 1. And if we have uh, 10,000 females, we have to multiply by 10,000 and now we have to divide by number of males and females so we have to divide by uh, 1 uh, or oh, sorry 10,000 uh, 1 so this is would be uh, 10,000 uh, females plus 1 male and the answer here would be uh, 3.9996. So what does this uh, number tell us? Uh, this number tells us that uh, effective population size uh, would be 3.99 or just 4 individuals that uh, breed freely or this is uh, two females and two males. So as you see, um, uh, the loss of the uh, genetic uh, variability, even uh, when we have 10,000 uh, females and one male, uh, this would equal just to uh, four individuals that breed uh, freely here and as I said what is interesting about this formula uh, imagine different uh, situation uh, for example when we have a population of the elephant seals and uh, in this animals uh, sea animals uh, the, what is interesting about their population that they have alpha male that do most of the breeding and for example if we have population of 100 animals, 50 
males and 50 females, but only one male uh, do all the breeding. Uh, this uh, means that uh, in our formula, once again, we have to put 4 here, multiplied by uh, 1 male, and multiplied by 50 females in this population. So we ignore those animals that do not participate in the breeding. So we ignore 49 males, uh, because uh, only one alpha male do all the breeding. And now, if we divide this number uh, by the uh, number males uh, that participate in breeding and number of females, so this is going to be 50 females and one male, so total number would be 51. So on top we would have um, uh, 201 divided by, uh, sorry, uh, on top we would have uh, 200, 4 multiplied by 1, this is going to be 4, and multiplied by 50, this is going to be 200, divided by 51, the answer here would be 3 point nine two so as you see uh, the same number uh, four uh, four individuals that breed freely those uh, as you see populations is very different here we have ten thousand females and one male that do breeding here we have uh, 50 females and one male that do breeding but number of the effective population size would be the same or almost the same and uh, if we need to calculate the rate of inbreeding we have to find a uh, um, inbreeding coefficient and uh, here f stands for the and breeding and we use formula where we have to divide uh, 1 by 2 n e once again n e stands for the effective population size and here effective uh, uh, population size or number of effective breeding uh, animals would equal to uh, 3.99 or uh, 3.9996 so let's uh, use this information so we have to divide 1 by 2 multiplied by uh, 3.9996 so this would equal to 1 divided by um, 7 point nine 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 two and the answer here would be zero point one twenty five and this is uh, in breeding coefficient and uh, once again uh, if we need to know uh, in breeding of this uh, population we just have to um, deduct from 1 this number that is 0 0.125 and the inbreeding would be uh, 0 0.875 and what this number tell us uh, the difference between 1 uh, this is uh, what we began with and uh, this number uh, give us uh, the rate at which uh, uh, we lose heterozygosity uh, in this uh, generation. So this would be inbreeding coefficient and uh, this is uh, would be the change uh, uh, after each uh, generation. So for example if we need to know uh, what the change would be after say 10 generations or 5 generations we just have to raise this number uh, by 5 so we have to multiply this number by itself 5 times and uh, uh, eventually after 
a certain number of generations this number here may reach zero and what does it mean that uh, all the alleles or different forms of the same genes uh, would be lost and we would be left with only one allele or with only one gene per locus and the total uh, population would be uh, homo, uh, homogeneous and uh, homozygous at all uh, loci. And uh, what does it mean? That means that we got a pure breed. Uh, in some um, plants we can reach pure breed, uh, but uh, in animals usually uh, it is hard to do because uh, due to loss of the heterozygosity uh, we can experience uh, problems with uh, reproductions in such animals. So you know that if we start breeding uh, a new breed with only very few animals after a certain number of generations they may stop breeding, they, we may uh, have different uh, uh, problems with reproduction, uh, they would um, have different uh, health problems due to some uh, deleterious uh, uh, genes in homozygous recessive form so uh, it is very important to know uh, effective size of population for the restoration problem uh, for restoration programs for um, breeding programs and for conservation biology uh, thank you for attention this is all for today please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye